Hey what's up everybody, thank you for checking this video. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. But even if you don't, enjoy and happy coding! This episode is brought to you by Skysilk. If you're looking for a free Linux-based VPS in the cloud, go to skysilk.com. No strings attached. Just awesome stuff. How to set up a domain name with SSL certificate. A secure connection via HTTPS is pretty much a must-have for any website nowadays. And fortunately for us, setting it up with Skysilk has never been easier. First, we need to set up a proper domain name for our VPS, as it would be silly to secure a connection to an IP address. So you have to have a registered domain name where you can change the DNS to point it to your VPS. A super quick and cool thing you can do directly inside Skysilk admin dashboard is setting up a reverse DNS. A reverse DNS is basically what it says, it enables the discoverability of your domain URL directly from your IP address. Pretty great. Now it's time to set up the regular DNS. I purchased my domain from Google Domains, but this process is pretty much identical on every domain providers. Access your DNS settings area and set the name of type A with the at symbol to your VPS IP address. And also set the C name, which is the canonical name, as www to point to your original domain. These settings should be up and running based on the TTL time to leave written on your provider, which is the time necessary for the DNS to properly spread and update the registry. Great, now it's time to set our secure HTTPS connection with the generation of a custom SSL certificate. Let's access our VPS via SSH as usual and move to the www location by typing cd space forward slash var slash www. In this location are listed all our domains folders and you could probably, if you want, create a dedicated folder for each domain you want to set up. Since I'm going to be using this VPS for only one domain, I won't create any custom folders and use the default HTML one. Let's access the location of the defined site in our server by typing cd space forward slash etc slash nginx slash sites dash available. If we list the files with the ls command, you should only see the default file available in this directory. Let's type sudo nano default to edit it. If we scroll all the way down, you can find an example left by the Skysilk developers, which gives us a blueprint in order to set up a virtual host with a custom domain name. You can activate this option by uncommenting this code block if you want, or edit the default server method. Let's edit the server name line and replace the IP address with our actual URL. Specify both URLs with and without the www, which is vital for a proper redirect in SSL. Save and close this file and test its correct configuration with the command sudo nginx-t. If no errors are found, restart nginx with the usual command sudo systemctl restart nginx. Wonderful, now it's time to install certbot in order to set up our own SSL certificate. Let's run sudo apt update to be sure no impending updates are currently available and then let's type sudo add apt repository space PPA colon certbot forward slash certbot. If you get the command not found prompt error like I did, it's because we never actually add a custom PPA to our server and we don't have the command installed to do so. This is a default security setup of Ubuntu which prevents users to add unsafe sources to our package manager. We can quickly fix this by installing the software-properties-common package. After that, let's run again the certbot ppa command and press enter to confirm. Remember to always run the sudo apt update command after adding a new PPA. After that, let's install certbot by typing sudo apt install certbot. 
Serpbot, it's a command line tool which gives us access to automation commands to issue a self-signed SSL certificate and automatically manage our nginx default file for us. In order to tap the automation options of a specific server, in our case nginx, we need to install the python extension for it. So let's type sudo apt install python dash certbot dash nginx. After that, we can finally type sudo certbot dash dash nginx. Let's specify an email address which certbot will use for important communications like certificates issues or expiration dates, and then agree with the terms of services. Certbot will read our nginx configuration file and pick up the server name we specified, allowing us to set up dedicated certificates for each domain name. If this operation fails, it means your domain name can't reach your server, so be sure to do this when your DNS is properly propagated. Now we can deal with the option to automatically redirect all the non-secure traffic to an HTTPS connection, so let's do that. And that's it! Now our VPS should have a fully functional HTTPS connection. Let's test it by refreshing our URL and see the lovely green lock showing up in our address bar. Now that we have an SSL connection, we should set up our firewall accordingly to allow those types of connections to our server. If we type sudo ufw status, and you've been following my tutorials all along, you'll probably have listed only the nginx HTTP connection. We need to change that. Let's type sudo ufw allow, and inside single quotes, nginx full, and check again the status to see if it's there. Now we can remove the HTTP1 since the full option of nginx includes both HTTP and HTTPS connections. Let's type sudo ufw delete allow, and in single quotes, nginx HTTP. Awesome! You can check the status and restart your system if you want. You can take a look of all the things that certbot updated in our default file by sudo nano it once again. If you scroll down, you will notice a lot of extra lines and settings created by certbot in order to properly set up the HTTPS connection, point to the right SSL certificates and deal with the unsecured redirects. Pretty great. Thanks for watching and I talk to you in the next one.